Hey, what's happening everyone? Pragmatic Addict here. So, yes, I am getting this video out now because if I'm just being completely frank with you guys, I'm not too interested in what's coming out this week. <laughs> so, when it comes to this list specifically, first things first, there's going to be three different categories in this in this video. So, the first off is uh, films that I not necessarily only hope come out in 2024, but I think have a pretty realistic chance in releasing in 2024. There's obviously other films that have been announced that don't have like announced release dates or windows, but I think that these are just the ones that we could see in 2024. The second group is going to be honorable mentions, films that I obviously am excited for 2024 that have been announced for 2024 but just didn't make the top 10. And then there's going to be, yes, the official top 10 list. So without further ado and all that explained, let's get into my most anticipated films of 2024. So the first off, uh, really quickly, getting into uh, the hopes for that re they release in 2024. These are not in order, believe me. If they were and if this these were officially re like revealed for 2024, the one I'm going to talk about first would probably be my number one most anticipated film of the year, which is... Maxine. Now this one I could talk endlessly about. When I initially saw X, it didn't grab me too much. I just saw it as like, you know, reminiscent and respectable of like a 70s slasher. And then I saw Pearl and I became obsessed with it. They have become, I shit you not, me and one of my best friends, Kitty, these are her favorite films. We do a double feature of this film, I swear to God, maybe every weekend. Lately I've been on like a real big thing where I've been trying to find little snippets of information that I could possibly scout out of this film. I probably know everything that could possibly be revealed about this film up to this point, but the film did wrap up production before the SAG after strike. And now that it's, you know, over and the movie is most likely done, we should be getting this trailer anytime. And let me just clarify how excited I am for this film. I have not been more excited for a horror sequel or maybe sequel in general. This is up there with like as far as like horror sequels that I've always wanted for with like Creep 3 from Mark Duplass, uh, an actual Jeepers Creepers 4, It Follows 2, which we will talk about, but I cannot be more excited for Maxine. If it does come out in 2024, which I'm like 99% sure it will, easily my most anticipated film. But going on to the next one in this list is Yes they follow. So, It Follows is one of the most ridiculous, in all the right ways, horror films to ever come out in like the 2010s. And just with how much weight and nature and lore and mystery there is to that entire film, with like the whole origins, with what happened at the ending, with what's gonna happen next, everything is so up in the air and I just I need to know more and I remember years ago uh, David Robert Mitchell had said that he wants to do a sequel for this film possibly for it falls and kind of like switching the script to like follow it and you know Jay going back to the origins of the first person who had it and like how it started what it actually is and I think that's just so fucking exciting but we kind of got left in the air for a while for years and it was just announced either last year, the or like last month or the month before that, yes, not only are they working on They Follow, but the script is done and they plan to start fi start filming in 2024. I want to say early 2024. So with that being said, this film could see a release date like end of 2024. I'm really hoping so. In the very least, we'll see some footage of it maybe. But next, following this list, is obviously Beyond the Spider-Verse. So with that ending of Across the Spider-Verse and with this film originally slated for 2024, yeah, I, w I was holding on to that the second I saw, the second I finished Across the Spider-Verse. I couldn't wait for this film. But with the SAG after strike, there was also some controversy about the work environment, I believe, and it's just kind of up in the air. But I did read uh, just before getting into this video that as of like November 2023, like concluding the SAG after strike, that they are actively recording voice work for the movie, so maybe it will come out in 2024 still, we'll just, we'll just have to see. Next on this, on this list is Talk To Me, either sequel or prequel. So, following the success and release of Talk To Me, it was announced that Michael and Danny Philippu had actually consecutively, like back to back, finished f principal photography for a potential prequel film of Talk To Me following the very beginning with the Duckett brothers. It is also announced and confirmed that 
Talk to Me a sequel will, will be happening too, following like maybe the Satanist that the hand comes from, maybe where the other hand resides. A lot of potential going forward with this one. Next on the list is YouTuber and film critic Chris Stuckman's upcoming debut film, Shelby Oaks. So this one was supposed to come out last year. I think he announced that they were like pretty much done with the film. All they have to do is like some sound stuff and then the strike happened. So I this one's got to be coming out this year. I'm really eager to see how that one turned out. Really eager to see a trailer. Next on the list, which this one I'm kind of cheating with, this is actually a series, but I'm not not going to talk about this whenever I get the chance. This is the Welcome to Derry series, which is a prequel series from the universe and the director of the 2017 and 2019 It films. So this takes place in, I believe, the 60s, where it shows when Pennywise first came to Earth and the first people that he kind of feasted on. It is not confirmed whether Bill Skarsgård will be coming back as Pennywise, but it has been confirmed that Andrew Mischetti, the guy that directed the two films, is going to be directing some of the episodes. Now, this one was originally slated for a 2024 release, but then after the SAG After Strike, it was delayed to 2025. But just this week, we, or last week, following like when I released this video, we got our first baby slice of footage showing that filming has already begun. Maybe they're a good ways into it. Now, with the SAG After Strike concluded, Maybe we'll still get this in 2024. Let's hope so. And finally on this list, we have Cuckoo, which was a film that was supposed to come out in 2023. We only got one image of it. We got a pretty interesting plot, which let me actually read because I've kind of not talked about this film for a while <laughs> because it just kind of went away. It kind of went into like oblivion. The movie is done. Again, it was supposed to come out this year. Yeah, so the plot right here reads, Chased by a mysterious woman, 17-year-old Gretchen, who just moved with her family to an alpine resort after her mother's death, must uncover a conspiracy to save herself and her sister. So very vague, but the film is done. It is from the director of Luz, I believe, Tillman uh, Singer, and, you know, it stars John Malkovich, uh, what is her name? Hunter Schaefer, Dan Stevens, Jessica Henwick, so a pretty good cast, and again, the movie's done, it's from Neon, which is a studio I, I'm very uh, close with. So, I mean, yeah, hopefully, you know, we get something in 2024. So that concludes the list for uh, hopes of releases in 2024. We are now getting into the honorable mentions, which I actually only have two. I was gonna put Beetlejuice on that list, but if I'm being completely frank, I'm really worried about that movie. Just something about, like, you know, decades later releases and sequels to cult classic films. I just, I never, it never turns out good, but, I mean, this one has Jenna Orca Ortega, Michael Keaton's coming back in it, it's, you know, officially wrapped production, we've only seen a couple images of it, so I do gotta see more, so, it didn't quite make the honorable mentions, but, one film that did make the honorable mentions list of the two, is a film called The Home, it is a horror film with Pete Davidson, I mean, that's all you really need to know, uh, the film is complete, uh, wrapped filming and everything. Let me just look up the plot really quickly because I don't re exactly remember. I know it has to do with like a foster kid which is like uh, Pete Davidson and I think he works at like a home of, of some sort. So let me let me look up the plot real quick. Yeah so right here it reads Max a troubled man starts working at a retirement home and realizes its residents and caretakers harbor sinister secrets. As he investigates the building at its forbidden fourth floor he starts to uncover connections to his own past as an upbringing and upbringing as a foster child. So that sounds a lot of fun very psychological again the film is done I believe and it has Pete Davidson in it so this one doesn't have a concrete release date but it does have a 2024 placeholder release so looking forward to seeing that one and the next one the only one other one in the honorable mentions is a film called ISS which releases in just a few weeks actually so we have gotten an actual first trailer for this film now I didn't know too much about this film even from the trailer which I first saw at either Godzilla minus one or Silent Night but I did read a little bit into it because I am a big fan of like space films as well as space thrillers. And this film actually already had its premiere and it got rave reviews. And just from what I've been hearing from the reviews, it's actually a lot more of a horrifying film than, you know, I, I thought it was. Which the plot is that a war breaks out on Earth while there are astronauts aboard a space station in space. And I believe that like some of the astronauts are Americans. Some are Russians, but both Russia and America is secretly contacting these astronauts that are aboard the same ship and are telling the astronauts 
no matter like what, like by all means necessary, take control of the ship. So it turns like basically just shit hits the fan up in space. And I don't really know what the war is about. I don't know how this, you know, all transpires, but the trailer is interesting. The, the reviews are really good and it. From what I've heard, it's pretty horrifying. So that one comes out January 19th, and I cannot wait to see that one. So now getting into the official top 10, guys. The first film I'm going to talk about, I was actually hesitant on, like, switching it with ISS just because I don't know too much about it. But it is the film Mickey 17, which is from... All I know about it is that it stars Robert Pattinson, and it's the next film from Parasite director... Bong Joon-ho. So this is based on a novel, I believe, and its release date is March 29th, so pretty soon here. So the plot reads, a an expendable space traveler sent on a near certain death mission to colonize the ice world Nif Nifheim. I could be pronouncing that extremely wrong. When one Mickey dies, another is cloned in his place with most of his memories intact, effectively rendering him immortal. So that sounds that shit crazy that sounds way too smart for me but it's from bong jun ho and it's a space thriller i will definitely be checking this one out number nine is quentin tarantino's next and final film and this is the movie critic and this is said to like go back to the roots of his like earliest days in filmmaking which this doesn't have a concrete release date it is just slated for 2024 but it is the final quentin tarantino film and it's called the movie critic i am absolutely gonna watch this number eight on the list, which is another cheat. This is the Strangers trilogy. This does not have a release date either. This is just a trilogy all said to come out in 2024. These films have already actually all been shot back to back to back. And from the clip that we saw from Comic-Con that I reacted, reacted to uh, this year, along with what the director himself has teased, the first one especially will be almost like identical to the first original film, how it looks and everything along with its tension. So it's gonna be basically like, almost like a faithful shot for shot remake more or less, but the two films following it are actually gonna go into the origins of The Strangers, which I honestly could care less about. All it depends on is that The Strangers is a cult film. That's a film I really enjoy. So for me personally, it's all about if the first film is good, if it's entertaining, if it's creepy, if it makes me want more, as far as like the whole thing as a trilogy. But I am looking forward to checking this trilogy out. Number seven on my list is Quiet Place Day One. So obviously Quiet Place Part One and Part Two were both really successful films. I've enjoyed both of them. And this one being a prequel showing the very first day, which we got teased on in Quiet Place Part Two. I'm really curious to see these new characters, which is like, you know, like actors uh Lupita Nyong'o as well as Alex Wolf. I'm really curious to see these new characters see like where their story is, how this all happened, seeing when it you know all begins and everything. So this film also does star I could be pronouncing this wrong, but Jimin Gaston Hansa. I'm I'm probably butchering that, but he was in the Quiet Place 2 film, so I'm really curious to see like maybe his origin story in this universe. Now I do want to clarify this film is not directed by John Krasinski who did the original two films but he did write the story for this and he is producing it. And this film is scheduled to release on June 28th 2024. Number six on my list we have the new Alien film Alien Romulus which was originally supposed to go to Hulu but it is going to get a theatrical release kind of like Evil Dead Rise turned out, and this is from director Fede Alvarez, who did do the 2013 Evil Dead remake, as well as Don't Breathe, so very successful horror films. Now, it is said that this is more or less a standalone alien entry, but it is also taking place between Alien and Alien, so I'm really curious to see how this turns out, but this does release on August 16th. Number five and four on my list now, these are really interesting because these are both M. Night Shyamalan related. So the first one on this list, number five, is a film that comes on August 2nd and it is M. Night Shyamalan's next film called Trap. So no plot details have really been released for this film, but it does star Josh Hartnett and all we know is that it is a psychological thriller set at a concert. That just sounds wild, especially for M. Night Shyamalan, so I'm really curious to see what this is about and where it goes with M. Night Shyamalan fashion. Number four on my list, and also Shyamalan related, this is his daughter's directorial debut, full feature only, because she did direct, I believe, an episode or a couple episodes of his show, Servant, but this film is called The Watchers, and it releases on June 7th, so just 
a couple months before her father's film. So following in her father's footsteps, this is a horror film and this is actually based off of a novel of the same name and it stars Dakota Fanning and the plot reads, 28 year old artist Mina gets stranded in an expansive untouched forest in Western Ireland. Upon finding shelter, she unknowingly becomes trapped alongside three strangers who are watched and stalked by mysterious creatures at night or each night. So that sounds just vague enough. I also am really looking forward to the Irish lore with it being, you know, taking place in an Irish forest. I'm actually reading that it was also filmed in Dublin, Ireland, which I'm super excited that they are doing this kind of like attention to detail. I'm really curious to see how this film plays out. You know, looking forward to it. And getting into our final three guys, these are going to be, I think, more or less pretty damn obvious ones. Number three, we have Terrifier 3, which is Art the Clown's first Christmas film, it looks like, from the teaser. And it comes out October 25th, just before Halloween. Especially with how much of a handful Terrifier 2 was. I mean, ho holy fuck, guys. How that film ended and all it went into as far as, like, potential storyline with Art the Clown and then just dumping a Christmas movie on, on us next. And this does feature the same cast from Terrifier 2. I'm really curious how this goes forward from Terrifier 2, and especially with being a Christmas film. It's just a very unexpected turn for the Terrifier franchise, but really curious to see the story, really curious to see the background, you know, with it being a Christmas story and following Terrifier 2 with the original cast. Cannot wait for this one whatsoever. Next on my list, number two is Joker. Two. So Joker 1 was my second favorite film of 2019 following Marriage Story and one thing to note about this film is that Joaquin Phoenix does isn't really known for doing sequels but in the sequel it is also announced that it is a musical which a lot of people seem very worried on. I'm not too worried. I mean Joaquin Phoenix he can sing you know as we've seen in like the Johnny Cash movie. He can fucking dance and also it stars Lady Gaga which obviously you know that isn't a problem. She's done some acting work. So just as a fan of the original Joker movie and all things considered, I'm not too worried about this one. I'm really looking forward to it. It comes out October 4th. And number one on my list, guys, I'm just gonna say whenever this guy has a movie coming out in a year, it's almost like sure to be my number one pick. And this is Jordan Peele's next movie, which this releases on Christmas of 2024. Not much to say, there's no cast, no plot, nothing announced. I don't even know if he's begun filming it. Everything is completely unwrapped and it is coming out on Christmas. So guys, that is going to be my whole list of anticipated films for 2024. Definitely let me know what your guys' list is, as well as how you guys feel about my list, which ones you guys are looking forward to out of that list. I would love to have some talks in the comments below, guys. But with all that being said, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.